Hello, everyone. Are we nominate on time. Uh, we can wait just a, one or two minutes to see if a, a large, a large more fraction of more people uh, join in. But otherwise, I'll start my presentation in a few seconds. Okay. Everyone, so I, I think I'm sharing. Can somebody just cross check that? Yes, it is. Yes, uh, yep. yeah. thank you. All right, so well, well let's not even start this, this week a workshop. So, uh, whoops, that's not the slide. <laughs> Starting again. All right, so first of all, welcome everybody to PyHab 2022. I'm going to give you some, don't worry, some very brief slides with some bit of information uh, before we get started with the, the actual meet of, of the workshop. So here you have the, the names of the, the people who organized the mechanism, by the way, just for information. Uh, so yeah, so welcome. It's, it's crazy to, to, to be saying here, this year, but it's already the fifth edition, actually, this year. We started in 2018 as a, as a pre-event to, to the CHEP uh, conference that many, many of you probably know. And the event, uh, we went uh, globally on, online in 2020, 2020, for these reasons, and then we started having a, a lot, lots and lots of, of participants from all over the world in particular many many students that are, that have been uh, in the EUC in second uh, coming even more ones so we also have many physics areas represented and you can see at the very bottom of, of this page here uh, more or less a, a kind of best um, organization per, per, per topics in, in particular physics but not only you can see there's a there's many many students from universities this year quite the I think a record number in fact also, we have many people from the LHE so, uh, here at CERN, but that's just because of uh, it reflects the number uh, of collaborators in the experiments. So overall, this is we're talking about collaborations summing around 10,000 10, people. So it's not surprising that we have many people. We also have, as you can see, a significant fraction of uh, participants coming from neutrinos, nuclear physics, uh, simulation, even theory phenomenology, etc. So, so that's great to see. Also, the other thing that to, to very nice to see that we play very particularly pleased with is the fact that we have uh, a, about a third, almost a third of the participants coming in for, or well, coming back. So I will actually it would be like a welcome back because they have, as you can see from this plot, have been at pre present at least um, one, um, at one previous event. And of course, a, a number of, of you, especially students, have not been present uh, for these reasons. It's the first present time that you, you, are, you may be a first year student or something. So we also have an impressive number of registrations uh, today. We, in fact, uh, there's still some registrations coming in, and we are now over just over a, a thousand. So I'm not going to go through this slide, but this is a slide I typically put all the time. It's from from the introduction slides from from the first event in 2018, as I was mentioning, when uh, when we had identified that Python was the first last language, and we wanted really to bring together developers and users. This has not changed in in, in any way, and we still wanted to. to to foster as much as possible lively discussions, and you will see that our program is also is going a step further into into making this happen more effectively. So we do have a, a great program. Uh, first of all, every single day you have seen that we have plenary sessions. Everything is, in, is plenary, uh, except for the hack showing second. 
so the planner sessions are about four, four hours, normally four hours every day. Might be a little bit more to accommodate some some presentations. Uh, we had the record number of abstracts this year. In, in fact, you can see the a, a world cloud of, of all the the words that we could be extracted from those abstracts submitted. So you can see some of the the the, the key words that you probably expect to, to see. No no big surprise there. You can inspect that later uh, later on. Uh, then we have some two socialization events, one on Tuesday and one on Thursday, and we're going to try two different time zones to try and accommodate everybody at least once. Uh, so we do our best, and there's no magic if, if somebody's on the on the west side of, of the US or the east side of the US, and then another colleague in, in Japan or, uh, or Australia, then uh, it, at some point it becomes impossible. But, but we do try to accommodate, so there will be sessions, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Uh, so by all means, uh, do try and, and connect them. There will be you, in fact, you already have information on the Inco page for this, but uh, you, you have a look later. We're also going to have uh, a hacker shop, so a hackathon and plus worker shop, workshop at this, uh, again, twice to, to, to try and be inclusive. On th that will be on Thursday uh, evening and Friday morning. And you, will have, you will get more details about this, this event during the week, so I'm not going to go into any, any specifics of that. There'll also be an introduction on how you can set things up, but really is, this is to try and minimize the, the, the low, lower as much as possible the threshold for anybody that wants to contribute uh, to, to any of the package in the ecosystem uh, for analysis rather than uh, just say asking questions, you can actually try and, and answer them and see that you have contributed this, to this other pet package. So more on that uh, during the week. This is, I should say that this is the first year we do it. It's an experiment, so we, we will see how, how that goes. Uh, for questions sure. and answers at the, at the end of the presentations, we are going to be using a Slido. Uh, on the announcements check uh, channel on Slack, by the way, you will see, you will see at the very top the various links that are that are useful. So if you if you don't have to you don't have to stay them somewhere, they are always on Slack there for you to click. Uh, this is actually the, the main link is the one that says here link to post questions where you'll be able to ask your questions, and then the chair at the end of the presentation will will post them. Or, on, or helper actually will we'll post them and then the speaker team will try and go through as many questions as possible. What, what cannot be done then goes over to Slack and we can still continue discussing there in an, an informal way. So these are the links um, for you, but the main one, when you, if you want to post questions is usually that second bullet point. Then how, that, how does that look like? This is, these are snapshots from last year, but you get the main idea. You see, you see something like this. You can you, you are you are invited to put your name, on, but you can go completely anonymous if, if if you prefer. That's fine. And then you can either post a question or try to downvote or upvote uh, the questions that are already available. And in the end, we of course we start from the the most popular questions and the uh, within the time slot allocated for for the Q and A session for every presentation. We will try and answer, and answer or the speaker will try and answer as much as possible. And it's the same. We do encourage you. You to put your name because it's always nicer. It's also better and easier to, to then reference when you want to discuss this further on the Slack. So th this is how it looked like to see the example again from last year where where uh, Ben in this instance was was posting questions from uh, from Nathan and then uh, and, and then pinging explicitly the people who had a question. So you can you can really track keep track and you will be pinged if you if you have given your name so that you know that uh, an answer to your question will is on the way. That of course, if you have not done yet, try and, and join uh, the Slack workspace. Again, there's a link here uh, if you want to uh, join. See, in fact, mouse over, you can see that. So I'm already, all, almost done here. Just to say that the presentation on note, with notebooks uh, with Binder. So we, you have seen the emails that we have sent around. Uh, many we expect again as previous years, uh, many presentations with notebooks, and we really try to to encourage everybody to have a, a launch Binder button so things things can be clearly set up. For everybody online, and I have to say that a big thank you for the for the binder team uh, to allocate us for allocating us resources uh, for the workshop in case there's all of a sudden 100, 200 people uh, trying to open the same repository. Uh, there are there are resources for that, and I also thank Matthew, uh, our co-organizer, for having uh, this set up for us. So if you want to know more, of course you can follow one of these links or on Wider, but probably many of you already know it and use it. So again, just, just to finalize, a uh, big thank to our sponsors, either the Python Software Foundation, the ISAP uh, uh, Project Institute in Hanji Physics or the University of Liverpool for providing us uh, um, some money. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna um, um, caption all the, all the 
on the presentation so to try and be a bit more inclusive as much as we can. So that's why we have sponsorships. So I, I will stop here. I, that was a quick introduction. I don't know if there's any questions. I see just one discussion, let me check. Oh, so just saying hello. If there's anybody, <laughs> I don't expect many questions, it's pretty obvious, so I'll stop sharing. <laughs>